Good morning everyone, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Sunday, the 28th of April, 2024. All right, so anybody that watches this channel knows I am not mechanically inclined at all, at all. <laughs> um, it's never been my forte, never will be my forte. So I don't know if I had told you guys I put the bike on a trickle charge. Uh, it's not turning over at all. That I'm pretty sure is a battery because I've had the bike since 2015. It's nine years. It's never had the battery replaced. So I'm going to have to pick up a new battery for the bike. I trickle charged the lawnmower. And if you guys have seen, I had done some push work with the lawnmower, but um, it charged up the battery. It was turning over, but it wasn't starting. So Randy was up uh, at the graveyard today cleaning that up. And so I said, hey man, could you come down and look at my lawnmower? I said, I'm not sure what's going on and stuff like that. And he's like, okay. So he comes down and I had, now here's the choke, right? I had it about here. I'm turning it over, won't start. You know, it's, it's turning over, but it won't start. He does this. He goes, boom, fired right up. That's how bad I am, guys, when it comes to mechanical stuff. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I got started on the grass. Uh, I have to run out, so I'm not going to be able to get any more done today. But I hit this part uh, today. I went over a little bit more of the stuff that I had gone over before already with the push mower, because that's already getting to a point where it needs to be hit again. So I will continue hitting that, um, and then I'll get the rest of this lower meadow done i gotta do up through here and run the blueberry bushes as well but uh yeah <laughs> hey like i said i have never ever once in all my time on youtube have ever claimed to be a mechanic that i can guarantee you you can look it up all my few thousand videos that i have on there i have never said you know what i'm really good at being a mechanic no <laughs> uh so anyway so that's squared away, which makes me happy, and uh, it's helping my OCD a little bit because when the grass is getting like that, it drives me a little crazy. So I'm like, I gotta get this grass cut, and we gotta figure it out. And so um, with the help of Randy, we did get it figured out. And so that looks so much better, uh, so much better. And uh, so over the next few days, uh, I will be cutting grass and getting that done and uh, so that's exciting stuff right that's very exciting stuff but uh, uh i'll tell you what it, uh, it's always something but the grass does take a while to cut here and uh so you know that's all part of what we got to deal with and how we're doing things and we'll go like i said we'll go from there but uh progress always progress that's that's the important thing so just cutting the grass is progress, believe me. It's, uh, you want to keep that grass cut down uh, because of the ticks and everything else. Now, last year, you can see the darker area through the center here. Uh, that's where all the water from the well, when, he, when they dug the well, it had gone down the hill and it was like clumps of crap all over there. Uh, last year, I was running it down and it was just, it was not fun. Uh, this year, actually, it was settled really good. So it wasn't like bumpy and crappy running over that this year. So that was a good thing. And uh, But like I said, we're just going to continue to do what we do. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, I have enough other people that know mechanics. So we're going to be okay that way. Uh, Mark is a freaking unbelievable. Uh, he's a little jack of all trades is what he is. He can do a little bit of everything. But, uh, I mean, he did his own electrical. You know, he does the carpentry, he's real good at the carpentry, uh, you know, working on uh, vehicles, restoring vehicles. He's restoring a vehicle back up at his house. Uh, it's amazing watching the different stuff that he does. He's uh, like a little energizer bunny. So, but uh, that's not a bad thing. But anyway, um, that is where we're at. Uh, things are coming together. The weather today is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to be in the 70s today. So that's never a bad thing. And, uh, 
you know, like I said, I just, uh, I wish I actually had all day to just sit out here and just cut grass. Uh, I would be happy about that because that would get, like I said, lower meadow gets done first. Once the lower meadow's done, then I'll focus on the upper meadow. And, uh, but you know, with getting that much of the lower meadow done, that's a good part of the lower meadow. And so that other part over there is much easier. But like I said, it's, uh, everything's a little bit at a time. Just, uh, like I said, I'm glad the lawnmower's working. That's huge. <laughs> so, we'll get there. We will get there. Slow and steady, right? That's how, you know, that's just the way it goes. You, you know, Rome was not built in a day. And our homestead down here is not going to be built in a day either. It's going to take time. So, we're just going to continue to do what we need to do. We're going to get it squared away. And we're going to get everything ready. And hopefully, we'll be in good shape before the snow flies again. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, pavilion's coming along. Really pleased with the progress on the pavilion. Uh, next get together, we'll get the other fascia boards up on the other side. Get the gutter up on the other side. Get it all locked in and connected so that uh, both sides are getting water into the tanks. And uh, we'll just load up, hopefully. A couple of good rainstorms and... Uh, we had that one rainstorm, guys, and it was coming out. I mean, it was really coming out of that uh, that that uh, gutter on that side. So I was like, okay, that's uh, I can see where we're going to have the potential to can, or catch a tremendous amount of rain. So that's just such a good thing. And uh, we'll get there. We will get there. But uh, it's always about progress. Anyhow, I hope you guys uh, had a good weekend. I hope you guys are safe. Remember, folks, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we're going to be in much, much better shape. We have to stop letting them divide us. They like these race, religion, political affiliation. All those things are tools used to keep us divided and fighting amongst each other. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, here, here, hella, here, hey! Oh, she's just not. Um, last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, get over here! Whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one stopping you from reaching your goals is going to be you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. Have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.